Hello everyone, this is COADB.com, or the Coat of Arms database, and today we are briefly going to discuss several different coats of arms in the Hoffman family. But before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer genealogy and ancestral research services at our website. Please visit the link in our description. We are typically able to trace your family's ancestry back several hundred years and determine whether or not they owned a coat of arms. The first Hoffman blazon to discuss is as follows. Argent on a Mount Vert, three pine trees proper, crest a cock proper. This was the arms borne by Colonel Martin Hoffman, born 1707, said to be a justice of the peace and a distinguished officer in the colonial and revolutionary armies. He was also the father of 10 children. We know that he was the grandson of Martin H. Hoffman, who was born in Revel, Sweden, now Estonia, in the year 1625, and Martin came to North America in 1657 after serving as an officer in the military in Europe and living in Holland. Next is Per Fess Argent and Vert in Chief Three Pines, Crest, a cock. Very similar to the previous coat of arms. This was found on the book plate of Reverend Eugene Augustus Hoffman, born in the year 1820, the Dean of General Theological Seminary in New York City. Next is Ermine three lozenges gules crest issuing out of the top of a tower a demi lady proper attired azure holding in the dexter hand a garland of laurel verts and one source has this being borne by Henry J Hoffman Esquire of Philadelphia Pennsylvania although I was not able to find any information on that individual. I did find an individual with the same name who was of New York and was born around the year 1843 and was part of a law firm known as Pemberton and Hoffman. And I believe that individual was married to Bertha Whalen. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be the armager or not. So that's just a guess, but we'll, we'll stick with Henry J. Hoffman of Philadelphia. Okay, moving into Germany, we have Per Pale Azure and Or with a more proper crown vert belted counterchange covering over the, over the Per Pale, supporting in his dexter hand upright a crescent figure with a face upwards Argent the Sinister resting on his hip. This was granted to Andreas Hoffman and his two sons, Hans and Christoph. They were ennobled on May 15th, 1525. And several decades later, Jorg Friedrich and Sebastian von Hoffman were ennobled and bore an augmented version of this coat of arms. Next, we have a coat of arms featuring a bunch of grapes and a horse in the crest. Or I'm sorry, a unicorn in the crest. And this was the arms of Dr. Laurentus Hoffman of Saxony, who was ennobled in Prussia in 1630, along with his brothers, Milkwire and Andreas Hoffman. Next is a knight on a uh, horse, he's fully armored, and a crest, a bay horse issuant. 
This coat of arms was granted to Hessian Colonel Friedrich Christian Hoffmann when he was ennobled on December 14, 1761. Next is a coat of arms that was granted, I believe, to a man named Polycarp Gottlieb Hoffmann, who was ennobled in Saxony in 1790 and was a prime lieutenant. Next, we have a quarterly coat of arms, and it features in one quarter a silkworm on a leaf vert. Looks like a blackberry leaf vert. And this was the coat of arms of Isaac Lowe Hoffman, born 1759. He was an Austrian businessman who dealt in silk manufacturing. He also took active part in Jewish community life and campaigned for the building of the Vienna City Temple. He was ennobled by Emperor Ferdinand I in the year 1835. Next is Gules, a horse galloping argent on a Mount Vert. This was the arms of Adel von Hoffmann of Bavaria, arms granted in the year 1530. And I believe this was also the arms of David Hoffman, ennobled in the year 1588, an advisor to the court of Brandenburg. Next, a similar coat of arms found in Winsheim, Franconia, Bavaria. Next, we have Gules Three Spades, Argent, Handles, or a Chief Argent. And this belonged to the Hoffmans de Ranhusen of Brabant, who were ennobled on January 29th, 1749. Next, we have a quarterly coat of arms from an individual who either was ennobled or the arms granted in Austria on June 23rd, 1603. Next we have or the leg of an eagle, the talons downwards, having to the sides two east oils and standing on a hillock of three peaks, all gules. This was found in Winterthur, belonging to a Hoffman in Winterthur. Next, or a bend argent accompanied by two roses of gules, belonging to a Hoffman in Amsterdam. And lastly, for the purposes of this video, there are many, many more. We have azure two arrows argent placed satire wise, accompanied by in base a hillock of three peaks vert, a border or crest, a single wing azure charged with two arrows argent placed satire-wise, and this was the arms of the Huffman family from Basel and St. Gallen, Switzerland. If you enjoyed this video and would like to discover who your ancestors were and whether or not they owned a coat of arms, please visit us at coadb.com. We also offer JPEGs in high resolution for over 30,000 coats of arms for $13.99 as well as merchandise such as t-shirts, mugs, posters, and canvas prints. Thank you very much.